Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 6th of February 2024. This is the ETH open for this is a trade setup video I'm doing and a top down analysis for, for um, the 7th. That's Wednesday. So <clears throat> let's start off here with um, one of the first observations I'm having here on the monthly chart is. And I'm not going to do too much on the monthly chart because it is what it is. So just looking at the volume so far compared to like this candle right here. All right, so compared to this previous candle and the volume that that candle had compared to the volume we're having right now since the month has opened and the range we have already covered in this um in this candle right here i think that's that's kind of an anomaly a volume anomaly so i'm looking at the range it's already covered not much volume has gone into that candle and we have covered a lot of um a lot of price range right there so just keeping an eye on that really that's kind of low volume for for all that movement right there so let's see uh, what else um well the buying climax and the the up trust after distribution on the daily is at um 49.97.75 and buying climax is at 5028.25 right so that's the buying climax that's the up trust after distribution on the daily Right, so that's the resistance we're having on the um, on the monthly chart. Also, there's an upper deviation band, but I'm gonna drop down to the weekly so you can see that properly. Let's see. Um, yeah, drop down on the weekly and see. Let's see. Um, so far this this week is like about approximately 34 points and it's coming off of um i believe it's camarilla and now it's 35.75 points well this is a rough estimate and let's see it's coming off of monthly camarilla r4 which is at 49.40.69 right so that's monthly camarilla r4 the wick is about 35 points. Um, still, the volume isn't too crazy, but you know, that's a weekly. It's almost like a third of the prior um, volume. So, on the weekly, the anomaly isn't that bad, but still, looking at the low volume, a lot of buying coming in right there to support price at um, monthly Camarilla R3 at 40, 49, 40, 69. All right, so just make a note of that. Let's see what else. All right, so the the first upper deviation band is kind of behind this um candle right here, but the level is forty nine seventy nine sixty seven. Right, so we're currently at forty nine eighty two. Right, so that could probably create a little resistance and that's anchored from the preliminary supply over here at let's see right so i know this chart is kind of messy let me take off some stuff here so you can see what i'm talking about right so i have this anchored these vwaps is anchored here from the preliminary supply and i'm looking at this as a distribution um uh, distribution phase on the Wyckoff theory on the on the ES on the monthly monthly chart. So I'm looking at this as the preliminary supply, and that's at 47.53, right? So I anchored VWAP from there, and now that's the first upper deviation band that's having um it's creating like a hammer candle, I guess, on the weekly. So we gotta push above that, but that could always create some some rotation and chop right so if there's any sign of like um resistance that could be responsible for it as well 
Let's see. Um, go down to the daily real quick. From the pivots and the Camarilla pivots. Right, so we're basically getting like a, a bull flag pattern off of monthly Camarilla archery. Right, we're looking like we're gonna break out of that of that pattern right now. So again, this first um, upper deviation band right here, or I believe it's the second upper deviation band. This is the first one right here. Right, so the second upper deviation band that could create some resistance where we're at that point right now. So let's see how that works out. We're gonna push above that. We gotta take on this um, UTAD on the daily. That's 49.97.75 again. Camarilla R4 is resistance as well at 5,010.89. All right, so that's Camarilla R4, UTAD. Floor pivot R1 is before the buying climax. Buying climax is at 5,028.25. And floor pivot R1 is at 5,021. And those that's, mon that's a monthly level right there. All right, let's see here. Let's drop down to the one hour chart. And let me see. All right, so for the beginning of the week, um, this right here is, uh, is, is something I got to take note of that we're secure in this bullish um, structure where if you have some indecision like rotation around this area here like we had today, just remember that um, this central pivot and Camarilla S3, the weekly, was tested and we got that big buying coming in there. So buyers are still there in support of price. So just like they came down here, like we got that sell off, they bought off of this level, which was basically like a weekly cam R3 level. They came down here and they tested that um, golden pivot zone and we got that rotation afterwards. So buyers are still definitely in play, secure in, um secure and support right so let's see what else so we're basically above um market profile value area high on the weekly that was tested a lot today so let me just make this a little bigger if you really look at the rotation today it was kind of around that level right so we dipped below it we kind of circulated around it we got the bounce and the reversal off of it on this candle right here that was um let's see that hourly candle was at 1500 hours eastern time right so got the bounce the the buyers right there at value area high defended um value previous week's value so they're keeping price above um, last week's value and seeking new value, right? So just make a note of that as well. Um, there's no immediate resistance. It's only the resistance I was talking about um, with the second upper deviation band. But on the weekly chart, um, I have this anchored somewhere else. So the UTAD is the only resistance. We have a clear a clear shot up there to UTAD. I think it's like about 24.25 points. Let me just see right here. Well, actually it's going down to 15.75 points. So I was probably checking it from, from down on this level here when I was making my notes. So we have a clear run up to the UTAD and um, Weekly cam R3 is at 5,016 and then there's the buying climax, right? So, and then there's floor pivot R1 at 503075. So those are levels, those are targets to get to. 
Um, we open within the central pivot range. That's also in a higher value relationship, I believe. Yep, so let's see, let me point that out. This was the prior central pivot range right here. Blue line, green line, red line right there. Now the central pivot range is above. This is the bottom central, central pivot, and the top central. We actually opened above it, my bad. So it was a bullish open. We got the support there, the central pivot, the Camarilla S3 as well rotated today and it's looking like we're gonna end up in a trend day tomorrow because the eth is kind of bullish right now <clears throat> let's see let me just measure this from the open here at 41 71.50 so in the ETH, we already moved 10.25 points. So we have a nice strong open in the ETH. All right, so let's go down to the five minute chart and let's see what kind of setups we could find. All right, so for tomorrow, this is the value area high at 49.6850. Um, this is in an overlapping lower value relationship though. So this was previous day's um, value area high at 49.7550. And this is today's or tomorrow's value area high at 49.6850. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so... It's an overlapping lower value relationship and we actually rejected that thesis where we opened above so that's kind of like a moderately bearish thesis so it's kind of suggesting that we might we might move lower right so if we if we did open below market profile value area high and started to move down then we had to be cautious of you know, breaking the low and seeking new value at, at the lows, right, below that. So with this open here above value area high, right, this is a bullish rejection of that thesis and we're already seeking um, higher value, right? So let me just make some adjustments here. This is now overnight high. And the mid is overnight mid is here. And overnight low remains the same. All right. Right, so we're pushing up. We're creating this overnight high here at roughly, um, let's see, 49.8350. All right, so let's see here. Anything, any retest of this value area high? Is, is a buy or if this remains to be the, the overnight low at um, 49.71.25 any retest of that level tomorrow could be could be a nice buy right there I'm gonna start risking less two points instead of four points and we could see where we could take that up where we could take that up too so let's throw on the Camarillas the Camarillas are in a overlapping higher value relationship. So that was previous day's Camarilla R3 right there. Now it's at um, 49.81.30. This is Camarilla S3. It has moved up as well from previous day. It hasn't gone above previous day's Camarilla R3. So it's an overlapping higher value. So it's moderately bullish. Level is 49.68.22. Right, so any retest of this level here as well, that could also be a buy level. Seeing some selling exhaustion, exhaustion if we get any retests down on this area, you see it's actually lining up with um, the market profile value area high. So that's a good double pivot zone right there. Right, so nice little double pivot zone. Anything around this, this range here, 
can get like some nice buying right there or a nice reversal pattern and try and take that up to possibly Camarilla R3 but I believe it'll break Camarilla R3 because this is only like um I think how much points is this I think it's like um it's only like 10 points or something like that oh it's 13 points right so is 13 points in range and we could easily clear that like if we get if we get back to camera with the s3 and we take a buy from there we could easily break that level and head up to camera r3 at 49 87 80. so if we have a reversal play that's that's kind of like the reversal play i'm looking at if we have a breakout play where we you can see we already above camera r3 if we're above these levels let me actually throw on the central pivots. So this is R1 at 4984.25. So anything above this level, Camarilla um, R3, I'd have to look for something like a retest here for entry somewhere around this level. Rest two points and try to get to like R2 or possibly Camarilla R5 right so that would be the setup right there for for that play like if we open above Camarilla R3 retest it let's say we open above come back down retest it get some support and move off of this area here then I want to take profit somewhere around floor pivot R3 or Camarilla S5. So that's up at 4995.25. And if it's really bullish, probably wouldn't take profit at that level. Probably try to get up to the UTAD at um, 4997.75. Right? So even, even a buy from this level here as well would probably, I would probably think about. If it's a trend day, if it's if it's looking like a trend day, try to get up to this level here at 49.97.75. So let's see if if we do lose all of this ETH um, range right now and we come below, let's see. Looking for like a short setup, right? And the way it's looking right now is I would be reluctant to take a short, but Probably if we get up to above this level and above Camarilla R3, probably start rejecting at Camarilla R4 and start breaking back down here, then probably take a shorter breakdown of Camarilla R3 and try and risk about two points and try and get back to possibly this top central pivot here or the central pivot or Camarilla S3 and actually this is a this is a golden pivot zone so I just realized that as well so the central pivot is actually very close to value area high and Camarilla S3 and right, so let me just label that All right so that's a golden pivot zone right there any retests, um, any shorts from this area here, I want to stop out somewhere wrong here because buyers could step in here at any second, basically. You know what I mean? Because this is a heavy support zone. This is value area high. They want to maintain value above that level. This is the central pivot. It attracts price. So if price comes back to that level, buyers will be waiting over there, waiting down here. And Camarilla S3 is a support levels in a overlapping higher value um, relationship. So anything around here is basically buys. So if I'm in a short, I want to cover this level, right? So, and I would want to take a short. If I'm considering a short, then it's probably, it's probably a rejection here of Camarilla R4. Right, come because seeing where prices and the ETH here already above Camarilla R3, I would expect it to get up to this level, probably in the ETH or early in um 
early before the open, before the cash open, and then probably start getting some rejection and kind of creeping back down. And like if they're losing momentum, then they will break Camarilla Archery, probably a retest, trying to get back above, break down again. And I could probably consider taking a short, right? And I won't stay too long in that short at all. I'd, I'd probably cover right there. Yeah, so that's basically my setups for tomorrow. And um, let's see how it plays out. All right, y'all, it's Malak Shalomo. Y'all trade safe and stay blessed. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.